Hey there, it's Jacob with Sustainably Yours, and today we're going to be feeding some paper wasp larvae. So I've always had this weird, irrational fear of wasps. I'm not allergic to them or anything like that. They just make me want to run. Like, if there's a wasp buzzing around me, I have to tense myself up and force myself to not freak out. Um, but wasps are actually beneficial for the garden. They catch and eat a lot of the caterpillars that would destroy your, your crops. For example, right now, um, I've got some kale in the garden left over from the winter. We're trying to sell our house, so I don't care about it. I just kind of let it go. But the cabbage moths have completely taken over. They, they lay their eggs on the underside of cabbage and things that are kin to cabbage, like uh, kale or broccoli. And when those eggs hatch, these little uh, caterpillars come out and completely destroy your, your cabbage or kale or whatever it is. Um, and I've got that going on right now in my garden. But like I said, I don't really care uh, because hopefully we're going to be moving pretty soon. But um, I, maybe you saw the post the other day. I'll link to it down in the comments. Or the other day I found a, a paper wasp nest that had a few larvae in it. And I thought it might be cool to try and nurse those things to adulthood. So today we are going to feed some paper wasp larvae. I think it's going to be cool. So these are the caterpillars that come from what I've always called a cabbage moth. They're those little white moths. Or they look like maybe butterflies that flutter around your yard and you're like, oh, it's a cute little moth. But no, kill it. Kill it with fire because all they do is bring destruction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys. This is the natural food for, uh, for these paper wasp larvae anyway. So I'm going to feed them to the paper wasp larvae. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is, is kind of mush these up into almost a paste. The adults, they usually, when they catch these things, they'll chew them up and then fly them back. It's almost like a bird feeding its young. It's weird, they actually smell like cabbage as you smush them up. Which I guess it's not so weird, seeing as how that's their diet. So I guess I officially have some pets now. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and follow. Stay tuned for more from Sustainably Yours.